protected from head to toe. So this is a thyroid shield. This goes over the neck. This may be placed over the pelvis um, in an attempt to protect the gonads from uh, radiation. For 50 years, any time a patient received an x-ray, they were required to wear a protective shield. When you go to the dentist and they do an x-ray of your teeth, they put um, a lead apron on top of you um, in order to attempt to protect you from the x-rays. Since radiation kind of was discovered, um, there's been concern that the radiation effects to certain parts of the body are something to be worried about. But new research shows shielding may not be as effective as it was once believed. The amount of radiation exposure that the gonads get is kind of negligible and actually shielding them can create an increase in radiation. New studies also suggest that shielding can actually increase the dose of radiation a patient receives. Most of the dose to the gonads actually occurs because of radiation scatter inside the body. But if you put a lead shield over top of the body, what happens is that x-ray is going to bounce through the body, hit the shielding, and then bounce down into the body again, and so then it doesn't escape. Which is why, starting October 1st, patients at Lee Health will no longer wear a protective shield during an x-ray. For Lee Health, I'm Lindsay Morton.